The Silent Hill 2 Remake is actually looking good. Also, there's a chance to be positive here. Seriously, any long-term subscribers of mine know that even though I do sometimes cover the more serious topics, am very pro-gamer and have started saying things like subscribe if you believe video games should be about escapism and not activism, my long-term fans know what I really enjoy doing is getting excited for video games. And it's because I genuinely care about the industry as a whole that I push back on modern audience changes. Why do I bring that up now? Well, most of us wrote Silent Hill 2 Remake off because it was showing signs that maybe it was going to be another dead on arrival game. A Sony Concord or the latest Dragon Age game, which is so far removed from the brilliance of Dragon Age Origins that you cannot even control your companions. No, seriously, it's officially become the action game that it has been threatening to become for years now. Getting back to the Silent Hill 2 remake that is now confirmed to be coming out October 8th on PC and PS5, let's start smashing out the compliments as now I'm rather excited for this game after watching all the gameplay that is now available and reading all the previews and absorbing all the excitement from other YouTubers as well. First up, let's talk about these smexy graphics. This game is pretty gorgeous. While it is popular to hate on graphics and point out the obvious fact that gameplay is more important, it does not mean that graphics does not play a big part in our enjoyment in video games. Graphics, after all, is the visual representation of the game you are interacting with. It sets the tone, the mood, and can make you feel happy, sad, scared, curious, depending on what is happening. Also, we appreciate the artistic effort and art direction a game does take. Silent Hill 2 Remake has clearly gone for photorealism. Textures are very high resolution, lighting is soft to create realistic shades, and the shadows are convincing. It should not come as a shock then to also learn that this is an Unreal Engine game which has supported physically based rendering for a long time now. Geek talk aside, Unreal Engine helped normalize how light bounces off different materials which makes things look far more realistic. How a pair of leather pants reflects lights for example is obviously going to be very different to how a pair of jeans reflect light. Also, a big part of Silent Hill is the fog that previously has always been around the player and it's clearly making a comeback here. Silent Hill was created originally during the PlayStation 1 days and as much as we loved the PlayStation 1, trust me I do a lot of retrospectives on PlayStation 1 games on this channel, it was actually really weak. <laughs> it struggled to draw too many polygons on the screen at once, and a popular trick was to only render what is immediately close to the character. Everyone came up with different ways to work around this. Tenchu, for example, had infinite darkness around the character. Resident Evil used fixed camera angles combined with pre-rendered environments, and Silent Hill had fog. Obviously, we no longer have these limitations, and so Silent Hill 2 Remake does not need fog. But limitations has nothing to do with it anymore. It's artistic and works wonders for the imagination. We don't use fixed camera angles anymore in modern AAA games, I'm still upset about that mind you, looking at you Capcom, and Silent Hills 2's world would not be very scary if you could see things from a safe distance during the third person play. Thankfully and honestly, it would be the dumbest decision ever to remove, but thankfully the fog is back and it's extremely effective. Blinding the player from the ability to see down the road, there could be anything down there and that is part of the charm. It creates this feeling of cold isolation and guides the player's eyes to only take in what is in front of them. From a technical perspective, I feel this would also help in terms of performance and should result in a more stable frame rate overall. 
the engine is not rendering you plus everything in your perspective, which could be the entire town, but instead, maybe it's just rendering a park bench, yourself, some fog, and the road. I think the powerful PlayStation 5 and today's gaming PCs can lift the load very easily. The dirt textures, the puddles, and everything else looks very convincing. And the eyes in the main character's face and subtle facial expressions are looking pretty darn good as well. One visual area I do find a bit disappointing are the enemies you fight. Not so much their design, and of course there will be lots of enemies that I'm sure we have not seen yet, but graphically, compared to the hyper-realistic world that is around them, they almost look muggy. The textures look a generation behind and that really stands out when everything else really pops out. They look good enough, but it would have been nicer if they looked a bit better. Now sound design is extremely important in, well, all video games frankly, but especially survival horror games to capture the different moods. Minimalistic sound design is a requirement, and it seems Team Blooper got that memo and understands. Now, I want to discuss pacing for a moment, as I feel this is something rarely spoken about, but arguably one of the most important factors in the game. While I really enjoyed the Resident Evil 2 remake, the Resident Evil 4 remake, and Resident Evil Village, it's not a secret the series has become much more action focused. Still fun games, but are less survival horror and more action games with spooky elements. Silent Hill 2 Remake, at least from what we have seen so far, has a very strong opening. It's just you, in this silent town, and surrounded by fog. Very little sounds, very little visibility, and nothing forcing you to run forward as quickly as possible. Take your time, become one with the world you are in. Take in the moments as you explore, instead of rushing past. It's this pacing that gets me the most excited for this game. Even more than the graphics or sound design we have covered thus far, doing correct pacing tells me that maybe, just maybe, you understand what made the game great to begin with. Next up, let's talk gameplay. Shooting and melee weapons, right? It's not a secret that combat has always been clunky in this game series and it's something you sort of just put up with. It did also add a feeling of suspense since the uncomfortable feeling of trying to actually hit the enemy made you more spooked out. It seems we have gotten some modern improvements but a good modern, not modern for the sake of dumbing things down or unwanted changes but instead actual improvements. So it looks like you won't be as hard to actually land your hits dodge and you can do a counters. The enemy in response can counter you as well, which is very good insight. It means the developers didn't want these extra player moves to suddenly make enemies less of a threat. Smacking them with a plank of wood looks fun to be honest. There are new puzzles, some tweaks here and there to story, but currently it seems to be very respectful to the original vision. Now. There has been certain changes to some character designs, and I won't say those who are unhappy have no right to feel that way. I'm a big fan of survival horror in general, but I'm not a massive Silent Hill fan. So of course, their feelings would be stronger on certain things, and I will not look down on them or make fun, as I know certain people do online, and I think dismissing concerns that legitimate fans have and just calling them immature, I think that's a little bit sad. Let's show a little bit of respect to that older fan base of such an old series. Overall, however, I like what I see here. 
The other trailers and gameplay didn't really have me feeling too excited, but after seeing all the gameplay that has come out, it's looking much better. I'm loving the graphics, the sound, the pace, the combat. A lot of it is coming together and I can't wait to get lost in this world and just that fog looks beautiful the fog even as well isn't simply at a distance you see the fog on the ground in front of you and it i don't know mentally i just think that's really cool anyways with that being said god bless you all take care uh be sure to subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you all next time all right bye bye